In this video, I'm gonna be talking about exporting videos, and not just exporting videos because that's a necessity of video editing. No, I'm talking about exporting videos and uploading them to YouTube in one step. That way you can just go grab a matcha latte or go watch a movie or do whatever it is that you like to do in your spare time. I like to drink matcha lattes. Yeah. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, and now let's get into this. I wanna talk about one of my favorite features, which is now like fully functional in DaVinci Resolve 18, because in previous versions, it was there. It was totally there, but it was for all intents and purposes, useless. You would have to either export your video with whatever settings that you wanted to and upload it, or you would have to go with the settings that they would give you by default, which would drop you down to like the lowest quality. And yes, that includes exporting 4K videos and 1080p, like it didn't matter. It was always exporting at 10,000 kilobits per second. All of that has changed today. Now you can fine tune all of the settings. I don't just wanna talk about it though. I wanna jump into it. I wanna show you cause there's a bunch of YouTube optimizations that I just, <clears throat> I just wanna dive into. I'm gonna be using a B-roll montage that I created for my previous video for setting up my studio, at least for phase one. Before we get actually into this, you wanna make sure that you have DaVinci Resolve linked to YouTube if you're trying to upload to YouTube. And if you're not trying to upload to YouTube, I don't know why you're watching this video unless you're just curious, but in order to do that, you wanna make sure that you come up here to DaVinci Resolve, you click on preferences, and then you wanna log into YouTube up here. Here it says sign out because I'm already signed in, but if not, it'll say sign in like it does down here for Frame.io and for Twitter. Once you click sign in, it's gonna open a browser window. It'll ask you to log into your Google account and then you select your YouTube channel and then bam, it's connected. Click save, you're good to go. So that step, pretty simple. Now let's jump over to the delivery page. And Actually, you can scroll to the right and you can select the default YouTube option, which is 1080p, or you have an export option for 2160. If you watch my previous video on delivery presets, then you'll probably remember me saying, I know that DaVinci Resolve has a YouTube preset, but I don't like how you can't actually set the individual settings on here for certain things, such as the quality, which is really frustrating. Long story short, the quality for YouTube exports and uploads was just, it was terrible. You can use these settings and you can change and play around with this, but I'm actually gonna use a different option here, which is H.265. You can do H.264 master. I'm gonna do H.265. YouTube does support this, it's a higher quality and the file size is gonna be a little bit different. So that's something to keep in mind. So first step is going to be to name your video. I'm going to name mine YTE2022, just as an example. Scroll down to resolution. Now, if you're exporting an HD video, you don't need to change the 1920 by 1080. I am exporting 4K, so I am going to update this to 3840 by 2160. Quality, restrict to, there's that setting I'm talking about, 10,000 kbps. Now, I'm going to put 80,000. Encoding profile, this can all remain the same. Advanced settings, everything's the same. Now, if you're using optimized media or render cached images or anything like that, this is where you would want to select that as long as you're picking a high quality one and you're trying to save time. I did cover that in a previous video for a previous version of DaVinci Resolve, but it still holds true today. So I'm gonna leave that link down below so you can catch it after you watch this video. Come down here to YouTube settings and you wanna make sure that you check upload directly to YouTube. What I absolutely love, each one of these export formats allows you to upload to YouTube. Like that's just amazing. That was not even an option in DaVinci Resolve 17 or previous versions. They had a YouTube option, obviously, but yeah. So click on upload directly to YouTube. I'm gonna title this video, YouTube export example video. In the previous versions, it would just upload it and title your video what your export file name was. So I think this is definitely an improvement. 
And then for description, if you have a template or anything that you use, this is the perfect time to just like paste it in your description. I am not gonna use my template right now, so I'm just gonna leave myself a little message. And we're gonna move on. Now, chapters from markers. This is something that they introduced in DaVinci Resolve 17. This actually gets me really excited because I used to set up markers like I have here, for example. I've already set these up. I would go through my edit index and I would select my markers, but I would go through and I would copy down the times and then I would put it in a notepad and then I would use the title that I set for it. And now this completely removes that step. So it's pretty exciting. You do want to make sure that you set up markers and then select whatever color that you want to use exclusively for chapters. So if this is something that you haven't done already, then I suggest going through your video and set up markers for your chapters because it's going to save you a bunch of time. And you should be doing it anyways as you're editing because if you're editing huge timelines, it's, it's just going to make it a lot easier to keep yourself organized so you can jump between the chapters and edit in segments and instead of just trying to knock the entire thing out all at once. Going back to delivery, I'm going to check off chapters for markers, and then I'm going to select green because my chapters are always green. Visibility, uploading as public, never going to happen for me. And I really encourage that you do the same thing. I always upload private or unlisted. I want an opportunity to review my video, make sure that it uploaded properly. I want to be able to set my thumbnail and play around with other settings once my video is fully uploaded. Category, this one always trips me up. This honestly doesn't matter. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to mark it as entertainment. I mean, this isn't a video that I'm going to publish live, so categorizing it is already done. YouTube already knows who you are and what type of videos that you put out if you've been putting out for a while. And if you're not putting out, then you might want to reconsider because your girlfriend's probably getting bored with you. Also, you can upload to Vimeo at the same time if you want to. All right, so we're done here. I'm gonna hit add to render queue. Here, it pops up in my render queue. Click on render all. It rendered out, now it's uploading. Before this was a multi-step process, this was the most frustrating thing to get through because of the quality settings. That's literally it. It was just the quality settings that completely ruined this experience. Every little minute counts, especially when you're video editing, because it takes for freaking ever, really. Now that the upload's complete, let's hop on over to YouTube Studio, go to content, and bam, there's your video. Now, this is still processing, but you have your chapters automatically placed into your descriptions. You don't even have to worry about it. <laughs> like, my mind is blown. It just saves so much time. All that's left is uploading your thumbnail, doing your keywords, and then your end cards and publishing your video. It's like, finish optimizing your video. Overall, the process isn't that complicated. I mean, once you're done editing the video, the rest is pretty much done for you as long as you've taken care of the necessary steps, like logging into YouTube and making sure that it's connected to DaVinci Resolve, making sure that you have your chapter markers, but that's something that you should have been doing while you're editing your video to begin with. Set up your settings. You can even save it as a preset. If you don't know how to save delivery presets, then check out that video that I talked about. I will leave a link down below in the description. I'll also leave a link to the other video, which was on rendering out your videos quickly and efficiently. Beyond that, pick a title, type out your description, or copy a template over so you save even more time. And if you don't have a template, then definitely write one out. It's just going to render it out. It's going to upload it. Now, very important, make sure that during that process, your computer doesn't go to sleep because if it goes to sleep, it could interrupt the rendering out process. So you might wanna get a program like Caffeine where it'll keep your computer awake at least for a certain amount of time. That way you have enough time to be able to render out your video and upload it and not even have to worry about it. All right, so did you find this useful? Is this something that you've been using? Is this something that you actually knew about? Is this something that you're gonna use to save time? I wanna know about it. Let me know down in the description below. Smash that like button if you got value out of this video because you know, I need the love. Until next time, I'll catch you later.